So I want to talk about the effeminization of the modern male. What has been happening in our culture? And we hear this over and over and over again. In fact, I ran a poll on the Austin Men's Development Board. I ran two. One was, what is your greatest obstacle as a man? And the second one is, is why are so many men killing themselves? And so much in this poll came down to, one, feminism. Two, having a lack of purpose. Three, our culture. And there was this overarching theme that this world that we live in is making it impossible for you to be a male. In order to be a male, if you just walk through the world and go by what society told you and do all the right things, that you will end up weak, disempowered, suicidal, and a drug addict. Now, here's what I wanna say to men, is yes, there is an effeminization of the culture, but the weakest men that I see are the ones who blame feminism or something else or an outside source, the president, politics, liberalism, whatever that may be on why they're a weak man. See, in the history of humanity, men and women have received challenges upon themselves and this is what made them great. Now, I get it, absolutely, if the government, if our society makes it impossible, impossible for you to function as a male and accomplish anything, like be happy, like not be suicidal, like not be a drug addict, like not be purposeless. Which from what I see and what I've proven with my groups, it is possible to not end up like that. But if you're like me, who has been suicidal, I've attempted suicide, I've been a drug addict for years of my life, over a decade, you can also get out of that trap. And here's the thing guys, is I absolutely believe society needs to be changed. There is a problem. Our world does not look well at men, but me blaming, me starting a war or saying there's a war against me, me identifying an enemy, whether that's the government, feminism, liberalism, my workspace, how people respect or disrespect me, that keeps me in the trap. And for myself, who is in recovery, who has had a major problem with drugs all of my life and now working with addicts consistently, I know that the answer to the solution of you getting a better life, stop using, lose the desire and find a new way of life to be more specific, you can't blame. You can't make your life about being a victim. And there is no doubt bad things have happened to you, but if we're gonna change the world, we gotta change ourselves. I know it's a lot of fun to blame and call names and go to war and get all wound up over social media about who's saying what, but the road to being your best self is boring, unappealing, and long. But in reality, it's really the only chance you've got. So how much more time do you wanna waste? You got opinions, you got comments, let me know. Come on over to Austin Men's Development. Let's have a discussion. We'll talk soon.